It's your boy DJ Academics and now the NYPD, they aren't too fond of the free Schmurda campaign. Now if you guys don't know, Schmurda was the case that they gave my nigga and I'm talking about Bobby Schmurda aka the Finger Gun King and now he was indicted on charges of conspiracy of murder, also conspiracy of distributing drugs and also weapons charges as well. Now. He's currently awaiting bail. He's supposed to get bail $2 million from Epic Records. And he's trying to figure out how to get away with Schmurda. Now, in an interesting twist of events, we actually found out that the hot nigga video was pretty much just a lyric video for an indictment that came later. Pretty much rap genius for the indictment. Now, because uh, th there's been tons of t-shirts been printed up. This, the free Schmurda campaign has been going on. And the NYPD, and especially the police commissioner, wants to let you know that Bobby Schmurda and his cronies are no one that you should be celebrating. Now, according to one of the NYPD officers, they said, listen, Bobby Schmurda's rap music was actually a testament to some of the crimes that were committed. Not only that, they're saying, hey, listen, lines like we going to pull up in that hoopty like we cops on them with M16s, we going to put some shots on them. And even lines like Miss caught a body about a week ago was more than just really theoretical situations. There is, it wasn't hypothetical. They're saying shit actually went down. But yeah, check this out, because uh, even the police commissioner, his name is William Bratton. He chimed in. He said, listen. And he spoke about Bobby Schmurda and his crew. He said, these are bad people. They shouldn't be celebrated. And the fact that their music is being celebrated and their so-called fucking shmoney dance that they created, I would hope that those who fucking emulate it would effectively understand what the source of it is. Basically saying you're dancing at the memory of people that died within the streets. Now the NYPD says, listen, it's obvious that in rap culture and in rap history, people listen to these songs that glorify crime and then pretty much absolve the person that made the song of any guilt, including doing the damn crime themselves. And they're saying that this is not a good look. They're saying, hey, if Bobby Schmurda did these things he's charged with, we shouldn't be celebrating him. Now, my interpretation of what this commissioner said and all the other police that spoke at the press conference is that basically... They're saying that, listen, I know you guys are loving Bobby Schmurda. You, you love the song, so you think he's a great guy. However, if we think he did this shit and he gets charged, don't be surprised if he actually gets sent to jail. That's pretty much what they're saying. They're saying, hey, no matter you think it's a hit song, he's rapping about doing some demonic shit. If we get him in jail, you should understand that it's not us against him. It's just the shit he did. Now, on the flip side, uh, the lawyer for Bobby Schmurda that was hired by Epic Records actually said, listen, man, the government fucking hates rap. So why the fuck would Bobby Schmurda even do something like that to commit any type of crime once he blew up? Makes no sense. They're just out to get fucking Bobby Schmurda. And I'm looking like, listen, this might be the fucking Max B lawyer talking here because um, if your best defense of getting Bobby Schmurda out of this indictment where he's indicted on so many counts is to say the government hates rap, I don't think there's any jury in the world that's going to say, okay, oh, they, they do hate rap. You're free to go. No, it's not going to work like that. So hoping they get a good defense going on. And um, listen, it's a situation where you can't really say free Bobby Schmurda, right? I mean, if you be sensible with what's going on, you, the best thing you could say, being sensible and fair-minded, is like, yo, we hope he didn't do it. If he didn't do it, we want him to be free. And actually, we want him to get out of jail on bail that he could then prove his innocence. Now, only an idiot and an ignorant person would be saying, oh, good. I'm hoping he did do it that we could really believe or we could now really know he was doing some shit or he was with the shits. So, yeah, we'll see what comes out of this. But uh, the NYPD, they're not that fond of Bobby Schmerner being... Um, hailed by black twitter and even hip-hop fans in general what do you guys think get in the comment box make sure you guys like definitely subscribe man i'm out